<laughs> bought one for me and my daughter uh, walking around the street. So. Um, I have to say, I think my my favorite episode was the one where Ramsey um, was in the prison. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and just learning about your, you know, what you went through. I mean, what was that particular episode like for you to play? You know, when, when, when Terry was pitching the show to me, uh, you know, he said, you know, we're just kind of wetting the audience beak. You're not in the pilot. But there's a reason for that. Because you want to, we want you to look like an ancillary character then has this big arc so it'll have that much more effect. You know what I mean? Because you don't see it coming. So when he, obviously the big hook for me is when I time travel back and I'm in prison and speaking Japanese. That was a hook because I already knew what I was going to do. You know what I mean? Because he tends to be more stoic. You know what I mean? Less emotional. Because obviously, it's going to have like a physiological effect on you. Also mentally being in prison for 15 years. The weight of everything. And, you know, a big part of it was, you know, I wanted like a more sunken around the eyes and more pale, more gaunt. You know what I mean? And so, I, I dug it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, I dug it. Was that a tough sell for you as an actor? Because you really have to put a lot of faith in the showrunner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean it was. Because when we, we, got to the, we got to around the third episode, I was like, man, there's a lot of jokes, man. Like, because, like, you know, no one hires me to, to tell jokes. You know, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're going to go to war right now, you're not going to hire me to answer a phone. <laughs> like, you don't put a shark on a tricycle. I can keep on going with the analogy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, keep so, going. So, but basically, yeah, at, around the third episode, I got a little worried because, you know, a lot of times they do pitch you something and it doesn't turn out to what it was. And, you know, for whatever reason, you know, they go in a different direction. This wasn't the case. So. So can you tell us a little bit about the brother dynamic between you and Cole? We were talking to Aaron about it. How is that going to evolve and change in season two? You know, I think, you think you're going to see them maybe, like, you know, just get a little more, get back together, you know, <laughs> you know, from the breakup. And a little bit more, like, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. You heard a divorced um, Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah. Is that what yeah. The Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah. The divorced Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah, but, well, there's underneath, there's the undertone of distrust still, do you know what I mean, between each other, because we're still trying to, you know, I'm trying to stay my son, you know, he's lusting after a woman, you know, so, you know, I mean, but but the good thing is that all the characters are morally ambiguous, you know what I mean, there's really no good person and no bad person, you know what I mean, I mean and as there shouldn't be, post-apocalyptic, you do what you can to survive, you know what I mean? But I, I think that you'll see a little bit more of the camaraderie, you know, back to the com camaraderie. You, know? you were talking about your daughter, and are you finding that that's helping you play with the son after? Uh, you know, I tell you what, son is a different dynamic than a girl. Do you think it is? It's a totally different dynamic. You know, because I, I thought about that too, I was like, oh wow, you know, you're, you know, for, for me, uh, I melt around my daughter. You know what I mean? Like when, when my wife, yeah, when we, we knew we were, we were gonna have a child, I wanted a girl so bad. I grew up around men my whole life, so I wanted a girl. And so I think it's a different dynamic. It doesn't help me when I have to act around my son. You know what I mean? Yeah. With the, you know, parents, yeah. don't touch that, it's hot, <laughs> don't run into traffic, it's stupid. Yeah, yeah. Just don't get the virus. Thing. Don't yeah. get the virus, boys wash your hands. hands. Boys tend to be a little more rambunctious, yeah. so, you know what I mean? You don't want to hug them as much, but I don't know, I don't have a son. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody you'd like to work with on the show? Anybody you'd like to get in? I think we're great, right? I mean, I like working with uh, Palin, man. You know, he's a cool dude. He's odd and bizarre. And he's odd and bizarre in real life in all the good ways. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, and then we're trying to get, I can't really say who, but someone I work with on a fringe. And we're trying to get him to do something, and I'm really excited about that. Because he's a good buddy. So that's as far as I can go. So, because it's not a done deal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>